Hi, my name is BJ with AquaView. Thank you for purchasing the Quad HD. I'm gonna do this video for you here to show you how to use your new system. First off, we've got the monitor and the shuttle. On the back of the monitor, you've got your HDMI out and your power ports. Next up, we've got the camera, which is in a protective case. Take the camera out of the case and you will want to make sure there's four cameras. You wanna make sure you remove the protective clear plastic coating. Take that off, you're ready to use that. After that, we've got a carrying case, a power supply, which is for a 110 volt in regular household use. Simply plug that into the back of your monitor and you wanna charge up your system prior to first use. Overnight is a great idea. If the light on the back will be red when it's charging and green when it's complete. If you, also, if you're not using your camera for extended periods of time, it's a good idea just to charge it every once in a while. I'd say every couple of months is a good idea. And then if you're out using the camera, for instance, in your boat or in your, say you're out ice fishing, you can use this 12 volt charger as well, just standard cigarette plug in there and that plugs in the back as well. That will both charge and or supply power to your system. Finally, in the accessories box, we've got a metal rod and four screws. What these will be for is for stabilizing your camera. And I'll just show you here real briefly. This slides in to that bracket right there. And we've got four screws in the bag. All you need to do is take one screw and place it right at the top. There's some extra screws provided. This Velcro will go around the cable and this will help stabilize your camera in, if you're in an open water situation where you're drifting or you decide to purchase the XD trolling fin live strike accessory, you'll want to use this as well. So that's pretty much everything that's in the box. Now I just want to go over real briefly how to use your new system. So the first thing you're going to do is power on the system. Just hold the power button for a couple seconds until you see the logo here. And it'll take a few seconds to power up. All right, and it should power up here. And we can see the four different screens and we've got spin it around and it's it's pretty amazing to be able to see 360 degrees so now if you are out and you see something that you want to take a closer look at you can simply press that quadrant and it will zoom in once press it again it'll zoom in twice you can click this blue magnifying glass and zoom back out and then if you want to return to the quadrant simply click the lower right back to the quadrant view so that's pretty straightforward there next thing is the lights select the light bulb. These are IR lights. You won't be able to see them, but uh, they are on and you can see the different intensities of the light indicated by the green icons here. You can turn your IR lights higher or lower, depending on your preference. And again, you won't be able to see the lights when you look at the camera, but they do illuminate the water. They won't spook the fish. And uh, yeah, and they're, they, they work great. One other thing I would note is it will probably change when you're using your IR lights. If it hasn't, hasn't already changed to uh, black and white, it will. As you can see here, we're just in an office setting and it's changed to black and white. To turn the lights off, simply push the light button and we return to color. As far as the menu functionality, you're gonna wanna go to menu. And basically we'll just run through some of the some of the different settings on the menu. Out of the box, it should be set up to auto settings and auto settings will just determine if it's day, night and adjust for those circumstances. If you would like to customize the settings, there's custom settings one, which you can select. And now with the green indication, we are running on custom settings one. Custom settings two, we could run on that. To adjust the custom settings, you wanna go to display settings and you can fine tune your custom settings one or fine tune your custom settings two. And then the day and the night, those are the automatic settings. Uh, when it senses when it's in automatic and it senses it's day, this, these would be the settings. So you could fine tune those and the same at night. Uh, if you want to turn off all these settings, you can simply go to advanced settings and select off. And then all of those menus will disappear to get those menus to turn back on. You simply turn advanced settings on. So, Without, uh, I think probably the next thing that would be helpful to know is we go to system information. We can see the product, the version, the build date and time, just some information there. And then the last thing is the OSD control. What that stands for 
is on-screen display. And your on-screen display, you can see it up here, is temp, depth, and when we get out of this, it'll also have direction, so you can see which direction each camera is facing. Uh, if you'd like to go in here, you can turn those settings off by simply pushing the right arrow or left arrow to turn back on. Calibrate, if you ever need to calibrate, the instructions are placed on the menu there. Pretty easy and straightforward. And then you can change your settings from standard to metric. To exit, just go down to exit. And I think we've covered all the features of the camera system. I hope this is helpful for you. If you have any questions, you can feel free to reach us on our website, service at aquaview.com, or our toll-free number is at the bottom. So thanks for watching.